our first day in Hargeisa, Somaliland. And believe me, today is also the last day of what? Before Ramadan. Before Ramadan. Yeah. And I need to eat before Ramadan starts because I'm also going to fast with you all. Mashallah. And you don't know that? No. Come on, I'm going to fast tomorrow because I really want to connect with my spirit. And I think this is the best time for me to fast, you know, starting tomorrow. Okay. But not for 30 days. Just, <laughs> Just one day we love, yeah? But hey, you know what? I'm coming from South Sudan and they told me that in South Sudan, cattle means wet to them. So they don't eat their own cows. Yeah, actually, they're not made to be eaten. They're not meant they, to be eating. They don't. Like, you can't get a cow, a healthy cow, and the solata eat for food. No. Whoa. But coming in here, I found out that there are camels everywhere. But do you guys eat your own camels? Yes. Really? Yeah. It's one of the strongest, most beneficial meats, let alone the meat. The milk is even more important. But absolutely. That's why we got our tough Somali jeans. But hey, let me know. What does camel mean to the people of Somali? Oh, it's big. It's in our tradition. It's in our Quran. It dates back to Muslim dates as well. Okay. It's a currency, most of all. So when it comes to things like if you have to pay a dowry, it's going to come from a currency of camels. It's a bit Whoa. more modern now. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Well, how many camels do somebody need before you get married? Well, inflation changed. So I'm going to go for a hundred. hundred camels? And how much does one camel cost? Mm, Eight hundred to one thousand dollars. So getting married to one woman needs to spend ten thousand dollars. That's the currency of a Somali woman. What can no, I say? I, I would say two hundred camels <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like women from this country worth more than that. Wow. But hey, where is this place? Come with me. But where is this place? So this is uh, known for camel meat. You can see they all have it on their shirts. Camel meat is most known to be served here. They have it on their shirts. Uh, on the ser staff. Okay. on the back of their shirts. Camel? Yeah. So this is why they eat camel in here. Yes. So you brought me here to try camel meat? We gotta get you strong for your day before fasting. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, this is gonna be my first time ever. Well, okay, so they said you have to eat it during the day so that you have enough time for the fat to digest. You can't just eat camel milk in the evening. That's why this, sorry, camel meat. You can't just eat it in the evening. That's why this place is full. They gotta get it in at this hour. And after now, there's no more camel meat available. So you have specific time that you take in camel milk? Yes. Like no noon. Noon? Yep. Only? Yep. What about early morning? Mm. No. Uh, you can have the camel liver. That's a delicacy as well. Okay. We love liver. I saw you tried bear when you were in uh, <laughs> Jigjiga. <laughs> okay, you saw that, eh? Yes. All right, and then so here, I'm here right now. Is it expensive to buy camel meat? No, it's very reasonable price. Reasonable price. Absolutely. Look at this place. It looks like a fast food joint. People are in and exactly. out. I, I love the fact that everyone is coming in here. It seems everyone can afford the camel meat. Yes. It's, it's, it's interesting, man. So, I mean, can I order one and then we give it a shot? Absolutely. You're not going to order one. It's going to be a big portion. We'll help you eat it. Is it a full camel? You even got the, the hump. Whoa. It's called the kurus. But I, I want to know, does it taste good? Well, it's fat. So it just tastes like whatever you imagine fat would taste like. <laughs> All right, you know what? You guys should get ready. Come with me. I'm going to try my first ever camel meat. And I know that I'm definitely going to enjoy it. I'm a fan of food and I hope nothing happens to my stomach. This is your food, my, right? Yeah. Ah. Hey. <laughs> I'm good. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> You're from Ghana, like. I'm finally here, brother. Can I give you a hug, man? Uh, International. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Give me my camel meat, okay? <laughs> He's bringing it right now. It's the nice guy. You just took a of his shirt. He's going to put it right there. Together. Mm. Even though we are eating together, but everybody needs to have his own plate. Because I've seen something here in this country, like people eat together. Is it like a culture thing or something? Absolutely. It's from it's from our households too, so it's no different in a restaurant. 
but growing up, you got one plate, you and all your siblings go for it. Sharing but is uh, exactly, sharing that's is caring. So everyone eats the same portion. No one's overeating. And no worries, Andrew eating. But me, <laughs> when you supposed to eat in the same bowl right. or plate like that. By the time you realize, I'll take half of them into another plate. <laughs> so once the food is done, then I'll take my own and start eating. That's cheating. That's cheating. You don't have to accept from anybody. What do I agree, man? Okay, so yeah, I mean, I think we have to dissect into the food. And yes, absolutely. So date is an important thing in our culture. Not okay. just culture, our religion. Even when we're fasting, the first thing we break our fast with is date. That's sweet. You need some sugar in your system because you haven't eaten all day. So this is sugar, eh? Yeah, dates. If you don't know who Marian is, Marian is a content creator based in here. Not in here, she is based in Mogadishu. I was supposed to meet her in Mogadishu, but we ended up meeting in here. And my, is it left or right? Left or right? I think it's right. It's all right. Right. And my right answer, <laughs> I got Samia, the Somaliland tourist man. I mean, she's going to take you all over the Somaliland. Everything that you want to know, so their links are going to be in the description. Make sure you check them out, subscribe to their YouTube channel, support them. But hey, I feel like I'm talking too much. Let's dig in. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, right hand. I mean, it was so awkward to find out that you eat everything with banana. Yeah. Why? Why, why do you eat everything with banana? You need a bit of sweet with savory. Jeez, I mean you can only find this in Somali, man. Like anywhere you see a Somalian, give him a banana. Yes. Banana. Moose, 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 no banana. Huh? Moose, 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 no banana. Huh? Thank you for the mossy. Moose, moose, moose. Moose, yeah. I'm, I'm more like a Somali right now. With every banana you intake, you're becoming more Somali. Thank you. Without banana, man, the, the food is not it. That's it. That's what I found out. I mean, the first day I tried this, I'm like, no way. But after I tried it, I feel like it's worth it. OK, we're going to hey. put it. What's up? We're going to have it with Paris. And you need some of the salad? Grab a scoop of that. What? You just took the smallest. You gotta put the whole banana in here. <laughs> I, I have to try this first. Just like any other meat. Yeah. yeah. But I think I need to like add it to something. Pepper or anything. But this is hot. In West Africa. That's hot. <laughs> But if you eat it with the rice and the banana and some uh, salad, that should do it for you. You gotta create a little family before you eat, you know? You got the banana, the meat, the salad, the rice. Together. Together. And you let it go. I need to try that combination. I feel like the banana takes the food into a whole different level. Mm -hmm. and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. so it's like rice. Is it a traditional food for you guys? No. No, it's not important. It's important, yeah, it's not traditional. Traditional food is totally different. Mm. It's just an imported food which is common, it's common in Somalia. Because I see rice everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this is the real Somali experience, man. I'm so glad that I came. He brought you a spoon. Ah, no. Just one singular spoon for you. Do you have the fat yet? Which one? The course. Mm. It's the hump of the camel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I want the green one. Oh, like a no live pepper. pepper. <laughs> it's tasteless though. The, the, I, I, I was wondering the same thing when I tried it. So what's the... Um, Oh, why does EA love it so much? <laughs> My grandma's a camel herder from tradition. Uh, camel gives you like, a, like it does like your bones get stronger with uh, camel milk and camel meat. That's that's what they believe in our culture. Okay. Like you get like high calcium 
department. But just get team color. Camel meat and camel uh, uh, milk. And like I said earlier, it's a very delicate food. It's not expensive, but it's expensive when it's used as dowry. You're giving away camel as a dowry for the the bride of the, of the family. Well, let's talk about what we're eating right now. How much would this cost? This right now? It's just a camel. Not less than ten dollars. Hmm? Yes. Max fifteen dollars. Yeah. Max 15. Yeah. There's a camel or everything on the table. Everything on the table. Everything on the table doesn't cost even 15 dollars. It doesn't cost 15 dollars. This is local food. If you go to an actual restaurant, your meal is 30 plus. But this, you saw there's everyday people coming. Okay. It's almost like fast food. I'm always shocked at the turnover. People come in and they run out. And they come in and they run out. And to be honest, if you look at our elderly, they grow to such an amazing age. Mm. My grandma, she's at least in her 90s by now. She's still walking, she's still trotting about. She has no health problems. Just because of camel. She grew up a camel herder, a traditional nomadic camel herder. She still every day drinks two cups of camel milk. One in the morning, one in the evening. Wow. You don't, you don't, get, hungry. You don't get hungry easily if you drink camel milk. Oh. Camel milk is used as a detox as well. I think that's why it comes so with the come benefits. From the first thing we say, oh, bring me cameras. I want to detox myself from all the junk I've been eating abroad. Mm -hmm. I need to try that because I've been eating junk lately. Yeah. I need to get rid of all this for my body. All right. Wow. Actually, we're going to finish this. Is this one, another one here. You didn't see that one, did you? No, this thing is less than $15? Yeah. yeah. I'm moving to Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I love food, you know, and I don't want to spend so much money on food. I'm definitely moving here. If you move, don't come with the full expectation it's going to be cheap. <laughs> if you live like the local, it will be cheap, absolutely. You mm -hmm. eat at these local places, but if you want to live the diaspora way, go to restaurants, be in hotels, it's not going to be cheap, but you need to change your perspective. But you seem like the typical village boy, so... <laughs> Looks like you're going to be eating at these spots all yeah, the time. You will fit in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to fit in. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, when you come from abroad, you have this idea of, you know, not just our country, of Africa. People have different ideas about us, you know, that a lot of places are not modern, a lot of places are not... Some places are not meant to be modern. We need to keep our history. We need to keep the way things are. I want to tell my children, Oh, camel milk is it. Camel meat is it for our culture. I want to teach them that. But if we move forward and we modernize everything, we lose our touch, we lose where we're from, we lose our roots, you know? I grew up in America, and people, when I tell them, oh, I'm, I'm in Africa, I'm gonna stay for a while, I'm gonna come back home, they're like, what the hell? You lost America? So I'm like, are you serious? America? Like, I know, I mean, I was privileged to live there, I grew up there, but. Wow. But that doesn't mean it's giving me everything I need. I want to I wanna identity. I want to go back to where I'm from. I want to tell them, hey, I'm from there. I'm back home. And I mean, I'm alive. Nothing is wrong. Uh, remember, you, you only go when your time is up. So don't worry about that. Don't stress about something you have no control over. Just think about living your life every day the way you should. That's it. What's the name again? Philip Gay. Hilip, Hili, which is meat, gale is camel. So you add together Hilip Gale. Hilip Gale. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Remember, it's not, it's not super set, tasty. Set a high. We are having. How are you? We are having. Hilip Gale. Hilip Gale. Yeah. <laughs> Ma Mahasani. Mahasani. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You might be wondering why it's not spicy or uh, yeah. the meat. The reason is camel meat, you don't need to add all that extra. Yeah. You, you, you want to consume all the nutrients. You don't want to add nothing extra. So I, I really wanted to ask this question, you know, because I feel like I need pepper. Yeah. Like to eat the camel meat. I, I feel like I need some ginger around it. I feel like I need some garlic around it. But it's too raw. Like you cook it like that. They add, they add uh, garlic and everything, but they don't. They don't make it salty and they don't make it. Yeah. But if you want that, you can have uh, yeah, regular regular meat like uh, goat meat. Goat. 
then you have the curry, you have the spices, you have all that. But camel? But camel, you just let it be. Yeah. All the nutrients like raw. We honor camel to, to a very high level. Mm -hmm. So we cook it as it is and eat it as it is. If you have, if you want to have anything with, uh, uh, aside of it, it's all, it's all here. On the we side? Have with, with, yeah. We have it with... Uh, Date. With dates, we have it with salad, we have it with, uh, with, uh, with onions, we have it with, with pepper, pepper is here, mm. yeah. Anything you want to have it, it comes, uh, it comes uh, as a side dish. But we cook it as it is and eat it as it is, that, that's, I mean, that way you enjoy the, the common taste, the real common taste. Mm. The rest of the meat, you, you, you make it, you make it